friends, what's your favorite stamping technique? I love masking in all its various forms, with masking paper, with glossy accents, and with embossed resist. So today I have an easy embossed resist card to share with you. I'm using the Stamp Market's Butterfly Builder set. It's a layering set and I'm starting with the second layer. I'm inking it up in waterproof black ink and stamping it onto Bristol cardstock, which is my favorite for ink blending. While I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a second panel. This way I can make two cards, or if I goof, I have a backup. And I'm gonna use my heat gun to quickly set the black ink so when I stamp the next layer, the ink doesn't transfer. Now the next layer is the solid butterfly image. It's super easy to position it over the black layer I've already stamped. Since I'm gonna emboss this layer, I wanna go over my panel with a powder tool to remove static. The magic embossing bag is my favorite because I like to be a little heavy handed with the powder initially and then just shake off the excess if I need to. Then I'm using clear embossing ink to ink up my stamp and stamp. Next I'm adding clear embossing powder and then I'm gonna melt it with my heat gun. Now, before moving on to the next butterfly, I realized I did not set that first black butterfly layer enough, and it did transfer my clear embossing powder. Oops, <laughs> hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Now I'm gonna repeat the stamping and embossing process two more times, so I have a total of three butterflies on my panel. And then I'm gonna add some color with a little bit of ink blending. I like to hold my panel with a clean paper towel so that I can keep my fingerprints off of the panel, because the ink blending can kind of resist where you've got fingerprints. After I have enough of that gorgeous Tropic Teal, which is one of my favorite colors, I'm gonna move on to Party Pink, and I like that I can kind of overlap them for a little pop of purple. Finally, I'm going to finish with some bubble gum, and then once the ink blending is done, the excess ink is really easy to wipe off the embossed butterflies with a dry paper towel or even a damp wipe. Now to add a little texture, I'm gonna add clean water, I like to spray it on my hand and shake it onto the panel, and then I just use a clean paper towel to blot up the excess water. Now at this point, <laughs> I realize I have forgotten the butterfly bodies. <laughs> Before ink blending, I could have stamped them in black and embossed them with clear powder. Oops. <laughs> Since now the body has to go on a partially embossed area, I'm gonna stamp them in stays on black ink because it's a solvent ink and it'll be permanent on that slick embossed surface as well as permanent on the regular cardstock surface. Problem solved. Now lastly, I just need to stamp the sentiment and add a little faux black splatter with a Copic marker. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all safe and healthy and finding a little joy in crafting, or at least in watching crafty videos like this. You can find more information in the video description, including a link to my blog, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for watching.